Welcome to Happy Valley. Today, we're at Anti-Fragile, based in downtown State College. Since opening its doors in April of 2022, Anti-Fragile has become one of State College's premier breweries, making an impact on craft beer by hosting a must-attend event, the Hoppy Valley Brewers Fest at Beaver Stadium. Opening in the spring of 2022, Anti-Fragile fills the role of the only taproom and brewery in downtown State College. Their brewer Paolo, originally from Brazil, met owners John and Lisa on a return trip to the United States after a semester abroad. Together, they produce a tap list full of collabs, kombucha, and carefully crafted brews. So we are here at Anti-Fragile. I'm sitting with Paolo. He is the head brewer here. Can you tell me how you got started in brewing? It was an internship in college. Around my third year, I had this opportunity to start as an intern at a local uh, microbrewery in my hometown, back in Brazil, where I'm from, 2010. I, I, I came over to do my senior year in high school in central Pennsylvania. I was hosted by this family. Every chance that I had to come back, I'll be flying over and spend some time with them. In 2019, uh, in one of these visits, I met John and I met Lisa. And John, being a big beer and beverage enthusiast, he had this desire to, to start a brewery. So that's when we kickstarted this project. And then uh, the pandemic hit in early 2020. So we were stranded ended with this project for roughly two and a half years until it came to fruition. A big, robust operation turned into just a small shop downtown State College. What does anti-fragile mean? The whole concept circles around things that strive in challenging and, and difficult environments. The Hydra itself is this one creature that one head is immortal. When you cut one, two more heads grow. Oh, so that wow. kind of defines and, and gives it a visual representation for an abstract concept. So we came up here for the Hoppy Valley Brewers Fest. So many different people in town from breweries all across Pennsylvania and also other parts of the country. What inspired that and why was it so important to you all? It was surely a big endeavor, Hannah, but that would have definitely not been done without the help of other local organizations too. And obviously so many other people that did a lot of the hard work to make this happen. Having a brewery being behind a festival this big too, it kind of, adds a little more security to other breweries to show up to. For sure. You know, for as long as we're involved in this, we're gonna make sure this is a festival made by and to brewers. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Beaver Stadium, Penn State's famed Coliseum, is brewing with hoppiness today. Over 75 breweries from around the country have come to Happy Valley to pour their best beers for one day. We'll speak with some of them repping Pennsylvania. Welcome to the first Happy Valley Brewers Fest. So we are here with Matt Gilberg. He is the head brewer at Stable 12. Matt, can you tell us a little bit about Stable 12? So Stable 12 has been in Phoenixville about nine years now. So what does it mean to Stable 12 to be here on the field at Beaver Stadium right now? This is the first time I've ever been on the field. I didn't necessarily go to Penn State, but I have a lot of family that does. My little sister is currently a freshman here. To be here and actually like hang out on the field makes you feel important in a way. So now we have Eric and Brianna from Fourscore. Can you tell us a little bit about Fourscore? Yeah, Fourscore is a, a brewery in Gettysburg. We've got a little bit of everything for everybody. So any walk of life, we got a beer for you. Why is being on this field so special to you all? We met at Penn State when we went here 13 years ago. Being a student here and always loving Penn State and being a graduate, it just means the world to us to be able to be on this field. Something super special happened very recently yes. with you two. Can you explain that to our viewers? Well, like I said, we met here and I thought the coolest thing ever was to be on the 50 yard line last night once everything was set up and there was only like seven people in the stadium I got a chance to propose to her after five years ah, congratulations thank you. thank you she said yes the easiest yes of my life well congratulations thank you so happy to drink your beer it's Thanks. fantastic so right now we're with Charles and John Charles is the owner of New Trail and John is the marketing director. We make a beer called State Light. Yeah. Um, State Light's the official <laughs> beer of Happy Valley United, which is the NIL that gives money back to the student athletes at Penn State. A dollar of every case of State Light goes back 
T-N-I-L, which is basically supports the students from That's playing. That's amazing. It was just recently that Beaver Stadium made it to where we can drink beer at a game, right? Just and, two years ago. And is that when you all made State Light? Yeah, State Light came in last year. Um, it's had an amazing sales record through the stadium. People love our State Light. It's a Pennsylvania-made light lager to drink during a game. Thanks, guys. Your beer is fantastic. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for watching this episode of Cheers PA Beer Tours. Make sure to follow us online and socials and let us know where you want us to go next. Cheers, PA. So John was really excited. He was a, this huge beer enthusiast. He was chasing beer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's the end of my boil. Give me one minute.